Good morning, Copper Basement. Today is Wednesday, November 19th, 2014. I'm Reed O'Neill. And I'm Tristan Easto on the CBTV News at 9. On today's show, we'll be talking about new videos, basketball, and a sports fact. Now let's get started. Once again, we have a fresh set of new videos coming up for you guys to enjoy. I'm glad some of you took my advice before and decided to make some. Anyways, like I said, we're always accepting new videos. And once again, if you need any help editing, please see anyone in Mr. Tompkins' classes and we can get you set up. Now, let's go over to weather. Today is going to be sunny with highs in the mid 30s to mid 40s. Southwest winds will be 10 miles per hour or less, shifting to the south in the afternoon. Tonight will be partly cloudy with lows in the 20s and southwest winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Thursday is going to be mostly sunny with highs in the upper 30s, lower 50s, and west winds 10 miles per hour or less. Now let's get back to the anchors. Well, thanks for the weather rally. Now let's go to a PSA. I know I've always got to be careful and drive safely. Mom and Dad and everybody tell me to pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Huh, maybe they're right? I know my parents can take away my keys anytime. Ugh. I know I need to obey traffic lights and street signs. And going faster than the speed limit is dangerous and illegal. I know I could get a ticket or lose my license if I break the rules. That's not cool. Did you know teen drivers are 50% more likely to crash in the first month of having a license than they are after a full year of experience? Everyone, if you newly have your license or your permit, please pay attention to the roads, traffic signs, and traffic lights. And in other news, the longest successful basketball shot measured 33.45 meters by Thunder Law of the Harlem Globetrotters at U.S. Airway Center in Phoenix, Arizona, USA, on 11th November 2013. The attempt was in celebration of Guinness World Records Day 2013. The record was attempted by three different Harlem Globetrotters who all shot for one hour until Thunder drained his opportunity at history. Now let's go over to Sean for sports. There is a middle school basketball game tomorrow at Coca Creek at 6, and the high school basketball team has a ETC tournament this Saturday. Also, we have a, our third playoff game this Friday, so bundle up and come out and support your Cougars. And your sports fact for today is soccer developed in Lo London's famed Newgate Prison in the early 1800s. Prisoners who had their hands cut off for crimes of theft came up with a sport that used only the feet. The game spread from there. Now back to the anchors. It's a very wow. morbid thing behind soccer. They cut your hands off so you use your feet. Yeah, that's, that's uh, did not know that. That's, mm. Okay, uh, I'm disturbed right now, but uh, let's go to lunch. Okay, today for lunch, in line one is cheeseburger, fries, beans, fruit, juice, and milk. And in line two is popcorn, chicken, curly fries, roll, fruit, juice, and milk. And for tomorrow's breakfast is either pizza or cereal and apple delight, fruit, juice, and milk. Now that's all for lunch. Let's go back to the anchors. still disturbed about that yeah, soccer thing. That's, just, that's just and not we, okay. And he said it before lunch. <laughs> I know. I mean, that, now just, you get that image in your head. Handless people running around, squirting blood everywhere, playing soccer. How you like that? I wasn't thinking Let's go that to a sponsor way. Ad. The call to serve. It has no sound. Yet I have heard it. In the whispered retelling of honorable sacrifices made by those who have served before me. The call to serve has no form, yet I have clearly seen it. In the eyes of men and women infinitely more courageous 
and more driven than most. The call to serve has no weight, yet I have held it in my hands. I will commit to carry it close to my heart until my country is safe and the anguish of those less fortunate has been soothed. The call to serve is at once invisible and always present. And for those who choose to answer the call, for their country, for their fellow man, for themselves, it is the most powerful force on Earth. America's Navy, a global force for good. All right, guys, I want to make a proposal for this 3D printer. If everyone will bring in just $2 and donate it, we will have way more than enough. Yeah. So to start this off, me and Tristany both are going to donate $2. In other nudes, birthdays today are Miss Smith and Ethan Huskins. Superlative pictures will be all this week. A uh, clarification, this Thanksgiving dinner is this Friday, and you must see Lori by today and let her know. Well, Tristany, do you know what you call a bear with no teeth? No. A gummy bear. Rude. <laughs> Putting weird images in my head before the day begins and now... Yeah, apparently not everyone had the image of the handless people running I around. I didn't! But now you do. So, anyways, it's <laughs> all the time we have for today's show. We'll see you tomorrow on CBTV News at 9.